Okay, you guys, today we are doing a dreaded task. <laughs> At least to me, but I thought it'd be more fun if I film it and we can do it together. So today we are going to be sorting through and organizing all of my plant supplies. Things have really gotten out of hand, especially since I moved and I'm just in a small space trying to like figure out how to store things. Um, so yeah, that is what we're going to be tackling. To be honest, I'm not in the mood, but I keep putting this off and I don't think I'm ever going to be in the mood. So yeah. Also wearing my pajama hoodie and I was going to take it off to film, but I'm so cold and I was like, you guys don't care. You guys don't care, right? I hope so. So the like plant stuff mess that bothers me the most is the shelf that you can see behind me there. It's like in my hall, hall. Um, I have like this little tiny walkway thing um, that goes to my bathroom and that's where my laundry and everything is. And it's very narrow. Um, it's very narrow as you can see, like it's literally just a doorway and then like, I can't even stretch my arms out. Um, and I've, stuck my plant supplies here because I literally have nowhere else. Well, this is some of my plant supplies. Oh my gosh. And also just some random crap that I've thrown on here. And then I have more plant supplies in the bedroom on my like utility cart. But this I just hate. It's so unorganized. So we need to deal with it. So I'm going to pull it out of here. Move some of this random stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna take everything off and I will show you guys what I have on here. Okay, so sitting on the top, because I don't have a place to like store this, is my little mini ring light. I mostly use this for like Instagram and TikTok, um, but it's like a clamp and then it has a light and then you can put your phone in this part. Um, and then I just have it attached to like a portable battery charging bank um, because it's just like USB, but I don't know where to put that. So it's just been sitting on there. Maybe I can find a better home for it though. <laughs> I'm editing this video right now and I'm cracking up because behind me you can see in my bathroom and I literally have my ring light stored in there next to my bathtub as well as my bicycle and I normally store my tripod in there as well. So this is just proving my point that I have nowhere to store things in this place. It's unwell. And then I have a sprayer. I think that there's a spider mite treatment in here. I don't even remember it, let's smell it. Yeah, it's a, <coughs> it's a spider mite treatment. Maybe I'll label that. There's a spot to label and I just never wrote anything. Um, okay. Olive's uh, tooth plaque powder. <laughs> that can be moved. This is wicking cord for self-watering pots. This is my watering um, caddy. This is actually like one of the handiest things that I've ever done when it comes to plant supply organization. I use this all the time. Obviously, whenever I water, I just pick this up and it has everything I need. So I just bring that to the kitchen and I mix up my fertilizer and everything. So I love this. Um, I think that I just got this at the dollar store and it's super handy just for storing everything. So I don't think I really am gonna be getting rid of anything in here. Like I pretty much use it all. So yeah, it's just like fertilizer. And uh, the only thing that I don't really use that's in here actually is this pH stuff but maybe one day i'll check the ph in my water just like just for fun to see what it is and then other than that i just have like plant tape and my droppers and things like that next i just have some plant food to be honest i don't really use this as much but maybe i should this is just a like you sprinkle it on top of the pot um yeah, I've used it a few times before. I used to use it a lot on my larger plants before I moved, but I kind of forgot about it, to be honest with you. So maybe I'll try to like squeeze it in my caddy so I can remember to use it more. These are a couple of new products that I got recently. I actually haven't used them yet and I'm so excited to test them out, but these are by Sacred Elements and they are 
uh, sacred leaf tonic and sacred soil tonic. Um, so basically, oh, that one's sideways. So basically these are like natural um, herbal plant remedies. So they're good for pests, um, cleaning your leaves. They smell really nice. So it's like an aromatherapeutic experience and they just help provide nutrition for your plants and increase the overall health of them. So yeah, they're all like organic and natural and I love Sacred Elements Instagram. I followed them for a while and on TikTok as well. Um, so I got these to test out. I had been wanting them for so long. I unboxed them on my Patreon the other day um, in my, I think my most recent Patreon video. Um, but yeah, super excited to try those. So I'll probably be making videos about them um, just because I'm like really excited. Um, next, I have a couple Dr. Doom. This one is full. This is the Go Green Botanics Indoor Plant Spray. This one is full and this one is like completely empty, I think. I don't really know why, um, why I still have this, but I guess we can get rid of that. Okay, you guys, I just made the decision to switch to my other camera because I could tell that my Sony was doing the like glitch thing that it sometimes does on the screen, which drives me crazy. Um, but hopefully it'll be re resolved soon because I'm shipping that camera out to Sony next week. So they're going to take a look at it. But yeah, don't have no problems with my Canon. So we're back on this bad boy. Imagine if it did start doing the same thing. I literally thought I just saw something. I'm like tripping myself out now. When I got up, I actually just got a notification, you guys, and it was notifying me, it was an email notifying me that my channel just hit 6 million views. How crazy is that? Oh my gosh. So that made me really happy. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Like, that blows my mind. It's so freaking cool. I appreciate you guys like crazy. Okay, let's get back to our organizing. I'm glad that I decided to film this because just as I suspected, now that I'm doing it and like talking, I'm feeling a lot, a lot better, a lot more motivated and um, I'm not hating my life doing this, so that's good. Okay, so second shelf, we have my LECA here. I don't even know, what should I do with this? Like, should I mix it in, maybe I'll do like LECA and pawn or something because just straight up LECA, at least this particular LECA does not work for me. My plants just rot. So, I don't know. Let me know what I should do. This is the container that I had my Monster Attack Constellation in when I was rooting it. I wonder if I can peel the label off and stick it on the current pot that this plant is in. I'm gonna try. Anyways, there's just seeds inside of there from my microgreens. I'm growing microgreens now, and I will have a video coming on that. I've been meaning to transfer these labels over for literally so long, so good for me finally doing it. Uh, what would be considered the front of this pot? Maybe I'll just do it like here. Uh, yeah. Since I have this plant out, I suppose it would be rude of me to not give you a root update. Because some people have been asking. Um, I was going to talk about it once it put out another leaf, but some people have been asking. And also, I get rude comments on my video, my like most recent repotting this plant, um, of people telling me that it's going to die, I'm going to kill it, I did it wrong, and the mix is no good, and blah blah blah. So, as y'all can see here, the mix must not be that bad because we have a lot of new fresh roots and this plant seems pretty freaking happy so um there's that yeah it pretty much looks the same which is good no yellowing or anything i'm waiting so patiently for a leaf to come out here like she's preg kind of um there's definitely a bump so i keep checking but nothing yet you guys will be the first to know when it is happening though. Honestly, I'll probably make a post on the community tab. That's how big of a deal it's gonna be. Okay, carrying on. So my blue dish soap. I use this when I'm doing like my neem mixture. Uh, you can wash your plants just with like diluted dish soap as well. If you just want like a really, if you want to like wash leaves or you just want like a really mild pest prevention. Um, yeah, 
I had this little Dawn one and then I just bought this like store brand one because Dawn is not cruelty free besties. Also, do you guys like my new leggings? They're red. I think that they're pretty cute. Nicely paired with my pajama hoodie. Um, okay, I'm getting I'm getting too hyped up now. I started this video as a miserable woman and now I have energy. Coffee probably helps, am I right? Okay, stay focused here. Um, okay, this little cover pot doesn't have a hole or anything. It's literally just a plain black pot. I could probably actually use this. I'm gonna put that there. Um, oh, I didn't even know I had these cups. I kept thinking like, I wish I had some uh, plastic cups available right now. They were all just like, this is what happens when you're not organized. You have stuff that you don't even know that you have. I didn't know I had this jar either. I've been looking for prop vessels like all over my cupboards in my house and I have all this stuff just sitting here. Oh my goodness. Random jar of sphagnum moss. I think that I was growing corms in here. Um, this is perfect because once I have more corms, I can just like moisten this, put my plastic wrap on top and it'll be good to go. My moisture meter, it's like all dusty because I literally never use it. I do think that this is a good idea for beginners, but by this point, I know my plants all really well and I just don't really have a use for it. Maybe I should give it away to someone. Um, another plastic container. Oh, this is a lid. My sphagnum is over there, but it's empty. It's just an empty container like this. And then this is perlite. Although there's definitely some sphagnum in there as well. Hmm. Hobbies are so weird. Like I'm sure plants, we have like a lot of weird plant parent things laying around our house, but I feel like every hobby, like people just like collect weird things and have like storage areas of just like random crap. But I feel like plant, plant stuff is like maybe extra weird. Okay, so here's some sphagnum that I boiled the other day. Like just wet moss chilling in my house. Like the average person would probably think that that's weird. Um, wet sphagnum, I just leave it in this little strainer over this bowl until it like all dries out and then I put it into my sphagnum container. Um, so, I don't know, that's my system for now. And then I just have a box. I figured I would keep this box and just, what was this from? Mangoes, I think, when I bought mangoes. I figured I would just keep it and I could organize things. Maybe I'll organize, like, my little pots and stuff, actually. That might be good. I'm gonna keep that off to the side. Okay, this pole, I've had this sitting on this shelf for months now. This was from my Coco Coir pole. Like, you know how you can buy those ones from Amazon or whatever? Well, I got one just from a plant that I bought, like, last year. Um, and I hate those poles, so I took the core off, and then someone commented, and they were like, oh, you can keep, like, the steak and just, like, make your own sphagnum or whatever. So I kept the steak, but I kind of forget that I have this, so maybe I'll put it... Um, with my other steak so that next time I go to look when I'm making a pole I'll see it and remember because that's a really handy thing to have um, so I'm gonna, gonna keep that and then I just have my giant bin of Osmocote Plus one of my favesies see the focusing is unwell on this camera that's the only thing that I don't like about filming on my Canon and the color probably looks different too do you guys remember when I used to film all my videos on this video and all my videos on this video? All my videos on this camera and it was like never in focus? <clears throat> I do. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a good vacuum. There's like perlite dust all over it and yeah, it just needs a little clean. So I guess I'm just gonna start putting things back on here. This is my sphagnum bin I was talking about. I just grabbed it. I think I'm gonna put the sphagnum in here actually and then I can just leave the lid off while it continues to dry out. I 
love having these little bins, so I'm definitely going to keep those on here. This is the sphagnum worm. Maybe I'll do it like that. And then, like I said, with this cardboard, maybe I can use it to just kind of organize some things a little. So I have my seeds, um, some plastic containers. I'll put my glass container in here as well. I have another glass. Yeah. This one. I guess I'll just leave the sphagnum in there and then I'll just use it when I have a corm. Uh, what else can I put in here? My black. Are those going to fit? I can make them fit both of them. Okay, that's so much better. Then at least they're like all together and I know what I'll have, where to look for containers. I think I'm also gonna sneak my wicking cord. There's a space in the back, right there. Leka, I'm just gonna keep on here. Y'all can let me know what I should do with that because, mm, or should I experiment with Leka one more time? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I have this random container of sphagnum. That was from my Hoya Obovada, but this needs to be boiled. So I'm gonna set it off to the side so that I can do that whole process. Um. This watering caddy is pretty good just the way it is. I like just having it on the top there. These soaps, I mean, I guess I can just keep them here maybe. Along with my Dr. Doom, my mite spray. Oh yeah, my Osmo coat. Go on the bottom. These sacred elements things can go here too it doesn't really matter what this looks like because it's not really you don't really see it in the spot that it's in but as long as it's like organized and i know what's all honest that i use everything i guess i'm just gonna keep that oh uh, oh yeah i was gonna put this with my other sticks that's right my strainer and bowl that had the sphagnum after I wash them, I'm going to put them back on this bottom shelf. And then I guess that'll pretty much be it. This feels a lot better, a lot more organized. So I'm happy about that. I don't like how the Super Thrive is like coming out of there though. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I guess that is going to be the end of this quick little video. I hope that you guys enjoyed organizing this plant shelf, plant storage supply shelf with me. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more planty content and leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!